Lumen Technology stock ticker LUMN currently trading at $8.32 per share. Now I haven't covered many companies like this on the channel before, so this is going to be kind of a unique analysis. But we can see year to date, they're down 34.5%. But in this video, we're going to be jumping into my stock valuation spreadsheet to see if we can find the intrinsic value of this company and decide if they're a company we should be buying or not. And on this spreadsheet, we have our four different valuation models. We have Graham's valuation, a discounted cash flow model, a multiples valuation, and our dividend discount model and all four of these valuations will roll into our output tab. So let's go ahead and jump over to our stock screener. If you'd like to be able to download the spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. But what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and plug in the stock ticker for Lumen Technologies and hit enter. And you can see all of this data is going to automatically load in. We're looking at our 365 day chart. So we can see a pretty drastic decrease in our share price. But let's go ahead and come over here in dividend data. And this is exactly why so many people are interested in this company. We can see they're currently paying out a dollar per share and it gives them a dividend yield of a slightly over 12%. That is an absolutely massive dividend payment. But despite this, we can see their payout ratio sitting at just 51.3%. So it is a little bit higher than I typically like to see it. But that's a pretty low payout ratio when you consider the massive dividend yield. Now the 2050 and 200 day moving averages all down by a pretty large amount. We can see 14%, negative 20%, negative 25%. Analysts currently have a target price of $10.36 per share. That's a bit higher than the current trading price price and we can see the beta is right at one so the volatility levels will be that uh, pretty close to the market now something that I think is interesting about this company is they have much higher institutional ownership than I was expecting at about 80.5 percent but let's go ahead and jump into our first valuation and that is going to be Graham's valuation this is a valuation model invented by Benjamin Graham who is one of Warren Buffett's mentors and he wrote the book The Intelligent Investor and here's the formula he lays out for us to calculate intrinsic value and there's a couple of different things that I am going to point out here but obviously you can see the first thing we need is our earnings per share and that's what's going to really drive the valuation for this company as well as the growth rate projections but we can see their earnings per share currently sitting at 194 we then multiply that by seven which is the price to earnings of a company with no growth and then we apply our growth rate projection and this was kind of a unique scenario because this is the first time i have had to apply a negative growth rate to a company like this and we can see i'm applying a pretty high uh, negative growth rate and so why is that well there's a couple of different reasons the first thing we'll look at if we jump over here to yahoo finance we can see the next five years they're projecting negative 18.75% growth. Now, if we jump back over to Seeking Alpha, we look at their growth, uh, growth grades and underlying metrics, we can see they have very pessimistic growth estimates for this company. And if we go ahead and jump into the financials for this company, if we look at the total revenue right here, we're looking at, uh, let's see, this is tra tra trailing 12 months, and this is the most recent revenue for December 2021. We can see since December 2018, they have had declining revenue. So that is obviously not a good sign at all. If we go all the way back to December of 2012, we can see their revenue has not grown almost any all the way since the past 10 years. But let's go ahead and jump back into our valuation. So you can see that's one of the major reasons that people kind of stay away from this company is a huge negative growth rate for them. But once we have all of this plugged in, we then plug in the current yield of AAA corporate bonds. So at the time of this video, that's sitting at 4.4. Once we plug all of this in, we come to an intrinsic value of actually negative 1.94. That is the first time I've ever come to a company using Graham's valuation with a negative intrinsic value. But let's go ahead and look at our other valuation models and see if they are different. And the next one we'll look at is our discounted cash flow model. So in order to perform a discounted cash flow analysis, we need to project our growth rate to the future free cash flows of the company. So you can see right here, I plugged in the historical free cash flows. And this allows us to see our year over year growth rates for the company. So it's been a little bit choppy lately. We can see a few years of negative free cash flow growth right here, and then a pretty large year of growth. Um, year over year, it gives them an average growth rate of about 5.71%. So that's somewhat decent. But moving forward again, I just see negative free cash flow growth for the company, not a good sign. But once we apply that free cash flow growth rate to the future free cash flows, we take the present value of them. We add the present value of those future free cash flows and add the company's cash and subtract out their total debt to find their equity value. Once we have our equity value, we divide by our shares outstanding and we come to a discounted cash flow price per share of $9.32. So that's pretty interesting. Despite Despite our negative free cash flow growth rate, we still come to an intrinsic value higher than the current trading price for this company. Let's go ahead and move forward and look at our multiples valuation. And you can see the companies I'm using here to value um, and to compare to Lumen Technologies. But essentially what we're doing is we're taking companies that are similar in structure and we're taking their stock price, dividing by the earnings per share to find their price to earnings multiple. We then take the average price to earnings multiple of these companies and we multiply by LUMN's earnings per share to find their intrinsic value. 
and we can see that actually leads to a much higher intrinsic value. So what does that mean? Well, if we jump back over to our stock screener, we can see their price to earnings ratio sitting at 4.29. If we jump over to the multiples valuation, their peers are trading at an average price to earnings of about 8.20. So that's quite a bit less, but you know, some people might think that is fair due to the negative growth rates that we are projecting. But let's go ahead and move forward at our dividend discount model. Obviously, this is a really important valuation model if you're like me. I'm a value dividend investor and I hope to one day live off of dividends. And this valuation model is going to value a company based on how much they pay out in dividends and how much that dividend is increasing. So what I've done is I've plugged in the quarterly dividend payouts right here, which allows us to see our year over year dividend payouts. And this allows us to see the growth rates as well. So we can see a few years ago, we had a huge decrease in their dividend payouts at negative 53%. So that's obviously a very, very bad sign. And then over the past few years, we haven't had any dividend growth whatsoever. And that gives them a year over year average growth rate of negative 13.43%. Obviously, that is not something you want to see. Now, moving forward, I'm applying a growth rate of just 0%. And so why is this? Well, despite the declining free cash flow that we saw and the high dividend yield, that's obviously a red flag. But if we jump back over to the stock screener, we can see their payout ratio is currently sitting at 51.3%. So a little bit higher than I typically like to see, but they still do have a decent bit of room to continue paying out that dividend with where they're currently at. So if they're not increasing the amount they pay out in dividends, they should be able to sustain that dividend yield. Let's go ahead and jump back over. And so once we apply our 0% growth rate and our discount rate of 8.5%, we come to a dividend discount model price per share of $11.76 per share, quite a bit higher than that current trading price. Let's go ahead and jump over to our output tab. And here we're gonna see all four of our valuation models. Grams at negative 194, discounted cash flow at 932, multiples at 15.92, and the dividend discount model at 11.76. And when we average all four of these together, we come to an intrinsic value of $8.77 per share. Now that's pretty close to the current trading price of this company. But as a value dividend investor, again, we always want to apply a margin of safety. Let's say in this scenario, I wanted to apply a 20% margin of safety. Based upon that, our acceptable buy price for this company is about $7.01, meaning it's not currently a stock we should be buying. Now, as for me, I like to focus a lot more on dividend growth. So this is probably not a company that currently aligns with my um, investment goals, but I could see there being possibly some scenarios where some people may be interested in this company. If you're planning on trying to live off of dividends in the very short term, maybe this company could take up a small amount of your portfolio. But as for me, I typically don't invest in companies that are going to have negative free cash flow growth. Um, I love the starting dividend yield, obviously, and the fact that the payout ratio isn't too high with that high dividend yield, but it really just doesn't fit in with my investment goals at this time. But go ahead and let me know what you think of this company in the comments down below if you plan on buying or selling. If you'd like to be able to download the spreadsheet, you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.